Hello my friends, today I've got an awesome iMovie tutorial for you. We're going to be going over the cropping tools which is Crop to Fill, the Ken Burns Effect, and Fit. Let's head over to iMovie and get started. Welcome back my friends, here we are in iMovie. We're going to be focused on two of the cropping tools. One of those is Crop to Fill. You can crop your photos and video clips in your movie so that you can get a close-up of your subject or you can eliminate some of the unwanted areas. And the next one we're going to be taking a look at is the Ken Burns effect. And it's a really cool effect so that you can add this to your video clip or your photo and make the camera appear to zoom in or out of your clip or photo. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one that I'm going to start with is Crop to Fill. Select the video clip in your timeline, then select the cropping tool. Select Crop to Fill for your style. You'll see an adjustable frame is going to appear around your video in the viewer. Hover your cursor over the edge and you can see that it turns into a double-edged arrow. Just click, hold, and drag. You can make it smaller and then click, hold, and drag anywhere in the frame and place it wherever you like. So I'm going to make mine just a little bit smaller because I want to zoom in on the girls. And let's see what happens when I play that. Thank you for watching, guys, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And this was how you make homemade play -to So now you can see that all of the other items were excluded. If you want to revert back to the original clip, select the clip in the timeline, and you can do it one of two ways. You can either select Reset All, which is just going to reset the clip back to what it originally was, or you can select the cropping tool and select Fit. And now it's back to the original, where you, you can see guys, all the stuff really in the foreground again. So the cropping tool is a great way to zoom in for the entire clip or to eliminate unwanted stuff, like I've gone ahead and eliminated some of the stuff in the foreground. The, ne the next one I'm going to show you is the Ken Burns effect. It's a really cool effect because you can make the camera appear to zoom in or out of your clip or photo. Select the clip in your timeline, go up to your cropping tool, and select Ken Burns. And you see now two frames appear. You have a start frame and an end frame. The start frame by default is the full size of your video clip. So what I'm going to do with this clip is I'm going to start it at the full frame and I'm going to end it on the second child. Click on the end frame and you see that you can grab it on the edges and make it smaller. So it, my cursor turns into a double arrow. I'm going to click, hold, and drag and make it really small and I'm going to place it over the second child. And let's see what happens when I play that. You can see that it's starting to zoom in already. Eat, but we're not going to eat. Well, I hope you guys liked this video and give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Say bye. Bye. The Ken Burns effect is an awesome way to zoom in or out as your clip is playing. And again, if you want to reset that, just select the clip in the timeline. And you can either reset all, which I've done here, or you could have gone to your cropping tool and select fit. And that is how you use your cropping tool. There's one more really important thing that I want to show you, and that is your preferences. Here's what happened when I place a still image into my timeline. Watch what happens. It's zooming in as the image is played, and that is a Ken Burns effect. And for the longest time, it drove me nuts because I had to go up to the cropping tool and select fit in order for that not to happen. There's a much easier way, my friends. You can go up to your iMovie menu, select Preferences. My photo placement was set at Ken Burns, but I didn't really realize it. Just select Fit and then close the iMovie Preferences, and the next time you place a still image in the timeline, it'll automatically be set to Fit. I hope you enjoyed today's iMovie tutorial about the cropping tools. Thanks for hanging out with me. This is Lisa Jared. If you have comments or questions, please do leave them in the comment area. And if you're new here, I'd love for you to subscribe. We'll see you next time.